Hello guys, good morning. Uh, it's Asalexi. It's 4 o'clock almost here in the morning. And Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. Welcome to Asalexi's channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you'll always be updated. I just woke up. I, I went to sleep early last night. But, uh, uh, I, I'm doing a little vlog, you know, uh, about Philippines, you know, I'm here in the Philippines now, so if any of you are planning to come to Philippines, uh, because Christmas is approaching now, and uh, I'm sure you, you all miss your family here in the Philippines, and uh, if you have uh, bought a ticket already and you're flying soon, you know, this is what you need to do. Five days before your flight, book a hotel. Book a hotel if you are vaccinated. Uh, book a hotel for six days, because in the fifth day they will do the swab test again. So, but you know, this is what you need to do. So book a hotel for six days, and uh, they will email you the hotel confirmation and have it in your email and have it printed, and put it in an envelope. You know that you have it handy in your hand so that when they ask you just show it to them you know it's printed so and uh, ask for that and then when you check in your luggage and then the second one is to uh, register to your local government you know wherever you are arriving if you're arriving in Cebu Mactan International Airport you register to Mactan International Airport or if you're arriving in Manila or anywhere else so you, you register to that yeah, site and uh, so the registration to your local government they will send you a barcode you know through your email so have it print have it print and have it handy in your hand and that's the second one right registration is just online you know everything and, uh, and then the third one is the 72 hours prior to your flight you have a negative result of a rt-pcr test before you can fly so this is three days before your flight you have to go to somewhere else where you can do your swab test you know anywhere they do that now even in the pharmacy so you can go there and and they will email you the result in three days or something so you have it handy you print it put it in the envelope just like the others and then the fourth one was uh, was the uh, prior to your flight 24 hours prior to your flight you registered to one health pass okay one health pass that's where you get it and one health pass they'll send it to you through email so you need to register that fill it out you know all your correct information so one health pass and then that's 24 hours prior to your flight and then this the fifth one is the contact tracing app you know register it to your phone and they'll send you a barcode also on that and you will be uh, you're ready for a flight you, you uh, have all these documents you know everything now is computerized you know it's really hard for the older people to uh, travel back to the Philippines because uh, some of them they're not you know they can't see you know doing this that and hopefully there's someone that can help them you know before they fly back to Philippines so yep yeah, it's only uh, uh, five documents you know but you know when you accomplish your declaration form on arrival it's much easier for you you know what i'm saying and when you arrive you just listen to the briefing conducting by the bureau of quarantine you know and they'll ask who's vaccinated who's not vaccinated and they will separate you and uh, yeah, that's about it and then uh upon go on the planning you know like present that uh, TRN, TRN, you know, 
documents, you know, like when you registered to like, like I registered to Mactan International Airport, they send me this code. So I, I show it to them that I have this, you know, and the boarding pass, health declaration, you know, and the hotel, they will ask all of this. So that's why you have it in your hand. Whatever I said earlier, those are the documents that you need. Put it in the one envelope and then when, you, when they ask for that, you have it to show, you know. So, uh, then you just, you know, they'll tell you, you know, wait here and uh, we're gonna like uh, give you a number for uh, for the swabbing day when you arrive in the Philippines. And uh, it's like me, I'm a non OFW, so I went to the DOT, the DOT um, line, and then. There's a bunch of OFW, by the way, traveling back to the Philippines. And uh, I don't see so much of, like, uh, non-OFW doing to the DOT line. Uh, most of the people that are flying, when I was in the airplane, they're, most of them are like, like, they're supposed to fly back to Manila and they like, fly back to Cebu, you know, because uh, they don't want to change their flight, you know. Cause their flights been cancelled some of them you know like don't want to cancel the flights so they rather be arriving in the Philippines even if they arrive in Cebu so they take their flight and uh, yeah that's about it and you just you just wait for your swab test when you arrive in the airport and you know call your name after that you can pick up your luggage and after that they will tell you, like, the deal is only, like, uh, they call my name and then say, yes, it's me. And then, like, uh, okay, you have to wait here in this line here, you know, because uh, that guy is going to, like, call you again and when you're ready to get out. So, you're, in a way, your car hotel, which is waiting for you outside, you know, they'll be there, you know, they'll be waiting for you because uh, they're all, like, connected, you know, they're, like, you know, and you can get out, you know, when you're down with everything, they'll call you and you're ready to get out. And so anyway, I arrived like 6 15 and I wasn't able to get out like almost 8 o'clock because it, it, it is a long time. There's a lot of people, it is a long line, especially when you're like going through the evaluation. When they look at your documents, you know, it's gonna take a while, but uh, just happy being here now. And it's my fifth day, and um. So far, it's okay, but it's just a little boring, <laughs> you know, a little boring right now. I feel like you're in, you're in jail. <laughs> but, uh, I'll be okay. It's almost done, and, and I see one of my idol, also, he's back in the Philippines. Um, uh, her and his family. You know, they're back in the Philippines, uh, the husband and the two kids, you know, I think we're like, he got off today, but we're not quarantining the same place, so the same hotel. I just look at their blog, but uh, yeah, I'll be here for Christmas. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to spend time with my uh, daughter, and that's about it. So I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye bye. I will update you.